there are some professions in life that I value most. And when I was growing up, I remember we writing essays. What do you want to be when you grow up? And one of my essays said, I want to be a teacher. And that profession never changed until I finished. Mr. Henry Chitsenga was born in Yanga, Zimbabwe in 1966 in a family of seven children. He was educated at Sabvure Primary School, Kute and Chitakatira High School. He studied mathematics and computer programming in Cuba. Mr. Henry Chitsenga is a born-again Christian whose life is grounded in Christian principle of service to others, particularly those who are most vulnerable in society. His religious beliefs and his upbringing engendered in him a compassionate outlook on those he viewed as undeserved groups in society. He took up the mantle of a life of selfless service at a young age. In 1982, while still in high school, Mr. Chitsenga formed a tutorial group and called it Success in Students' Academic Work. Through this group, he assisted fellow students in mathematics sacrificing both free time and weekends to teach his peers. He also recognised that education was the way out of a cycle of poverty for the improvement of these undeserved communities. To this end, he formed MWANA Trust Zimbabwe in 2006 in order to assist orphans in Zimbabwe and to provide educational resources for them in rural schools in Manikaland province, Zimbabwe. Being an educator at heart, Mr Chitsenga is passionate about nurturing young minds as the basis and foundation for the future leadership in Africa. I personally hated maths, um, except for the days Mr. Chitenga would come into our house at five in the morning or six in the morning for extra lessons. With his lovely uniform on, his <laughs> church uniform. uniform. Always like socks perfectly up to his knees right. and he always looked so smart. One would think what time did he leave home, right? If I could use <laughs> Uh, one word to describe, and, uh, describe him, I would use impactful because he had an impact on um, my education and a subject that I was pretty weak at and as a result of him you know, giving me extra lessons, I came fifth in my class. That was, that was big. Uh, I never came fifth again, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was, it was quite an achievement and it, it wouldn't have been uh, possible without his work and his dedication. I would describe him as smart. Smart on the outside because Ravana is so smart. Yeah, well, I don't know translator that means he is always smart. Like he puts himself together well and also smart inside. Like he's very intellectual and for me that's what made me buy into his extra lessons and why they worked for me as well which is why I have an O level in maths um, because he was so smart that when he was giving us assignments and homework he wouldn't call it homework he would call it take home entertainment. And I remember my big brother and I would always laugh about that, saying this guy is trying to make math sound cool, but somehow he made it work. And those of us that have worked with him, I mean, O-levels would never have happened for me. O-level maths would never have happened if it wasn't for him. To really describe uh, Mr. Chitenga, I would uh, say he is a man who is, uh, he is principled, he, he, he is destined to, 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 to he is, is a destined history maker who seeks to live this world different from the, 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 from the time we found it. Uh, we appreciate the services that he is giving the disadvantaged students because he is uh, contributing to the mandate of our university which is to produce highly acclaimed graduates and he is uh, is in that respect he is creating history because the students are not dropping out because they are getting the much needed uh, uh, financial support uh, given their backgrounds. I would also describe Mr. Chitsenga as uh, empathetic in his capacity as uh, the, uh, one of our major philanthropists. I'm a sister in charge at Barenya Rua Hospital. I know Mr. Henry Chitsenga from 1991. That was like 23 years ago. He was my teacher and he brought out the best in me. He changed my attitude towards maths. I didn't like maths and he was there to guide us. And I feel much honored 
to be chosen among hundreds of students whom he was teaching at Morgan High School. He is one of the best teachers and I think he's also one of the reasons why I am who I am today. He was such a great teacher, he inspired us, we didn't like mathematics. We thought during this time it was a time to chat, to talk to friends, but his attitude and his dedication towards his job changed all this and we ended up looking for him for extra lessons, ask him to, to help us more and more even after school. And up to now, I still communicate with him if I have any problem, any problems, whether it's social, it's school, he's always ready to help. I'd like to say, I mean, for him, that's great respect I have for him and for the message that he's sending out to everyone in Zimbabwe community, selfless message, mm -hmm. willing to lay down his life for other people, willing to lay down his life to make sure that children are that, safe. That's a valid that point because you know he, he, he came and he supported me to, during today's show. Yes. The Red Talk show, he yeah. was there and he waited, you know, determination and he's he, yeah. he just, he's such an inspiration, he's supportive. Yeah, very supportive. Very supportive. Yeah, and he'll give himself for somebody else to be comfortable, even if it means he has to sleep on the floor. I was talking to him and he was telling me how sometimes it just takes a sleeping bag and you'll sleep in classrooms and goes sure. around visiting all the orphans. Not a lot of Zimbabweans do that. Yeah. If they yeah. do, they've got to say to uh, the whole world and ask for money. Honestly speaking, I think himself. he's the only one who's doing that at the moment. Some people are doing that. They can go and visit orphans, but they leave and go to in the hotel. hotels. Yes. Yeah. So but he stays yeah. with them. I think that is love to a greater degree. Something that we've never seen. Very, very inspiring. He's a father to more than 750. Mm. That's like a massive wow. thing. Wow, so that sounds up, Mr. Chitenga. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chitenga taught me all in the level maths. To me, Mr. Chitenga was more than just a teacher. He was a mentor. He taught me about life. He taught me about perseverance. And he taught me about relationships. The way we related was more than how a student and a teacher just relate. And if you look at Mr. Chitenga now, he has kept very good and productive relationships with a number of his students. So one of the things that really impresses me about Henry is how far he has come from, from a rural um, peasant background through um, training and qualification of, of all sorts, including in, in Cuba and um, to end up as he is, as, as such a, a prominent and well-revered maths teacher in, in Britain and, and also a philanthropist of such, of such proportions and such note. Henry Chisenga is a great example. And you can compare him to the son Timothy that Apostle Paul had. He, he, he does great things. He's just brought a few equipment to Parinyatwa Hospital. He's thinking of the children in Parinyatwa Pediatric Ward. And he's doing his best. Every amount of money that he has, he puts it to use for other people and not for himself. And I think he's a great philanthropist. His heart and his passion is with helping other people. Um, Mr. Chitenga, um, because of his dedication, it also translated in the same way I handle my day-to-day -day life. I'm also dedicated to what I do, and even in teaching and training and helping others who are less fortunate. Um, so I'd like to emulate his compassion and his dedication. <laughs> When I was doing my A-levels, my school didn't offer lessons for the further maths course. 
Henry gave me one-on-one -on -one tutorials in his spare time so I could prepare for the exams. This allowed me to get a place I wanted at university and start a PhD in particle physics. This is just an example of Henry's generosity and passion to help his students succeed. He's an inspiration. I know he's been an inspiring teacher because when I asked Ella, I asked her, I asked her what is it that uh, you like about Henry? What makes him a good teacher? And she says that um, it's uh, his, that he's passionate. He's passionate about the subject, but he's also passionate about the pupils. He actually cares whether they do well or whether they, they do badly. A few years ago, uh, three of our houses uh, put on several events uh, and raised, I think, a total of £35,000 to help build some classrooms uh, in a school in Zimbabwe uh, and also to uh, create some boreholes so that the children could have decent water, most important thing in Africa. I think it's very engaging for our pupils. Uh, having raised the 35,000 in, th in three houses, uh, when Henry's charity was put forward for a vote as to what our charity would be last year, uh, he was uh, overwhelmingly the successful charity. Some of that was to do with the fact that we were already engaged with this charity. Some of it was to do with the fact that he is an enormously engaging man. His smile is one of the biggest smiles in Teddy's. Uh, and some of it was to do with the fact that it is a wonderful uh, and a very important charity. What I observed about Henry very early on is that he's two people. Um, on the track and in competition, he's a ruthless competitor. He would weigh up his opponents, uh, work out how to beat them and beat them. He was calculating, and I think this must be the, the maths teacher in him, calculating, very cool, very thoughtful, and always intent on winning. But there's a second Henry, which I discovered when I became involved in this phil philanthropic work with him, and that is a man who's driven by uh, his faith and by an emotional response to the plight of children and the children that he's focused on for many, many years now are the orphans uh, of Zimbabwe, his home country. And his response to them is instant, it's compassionate, and it's absolutely without reserve or hesitation. He throws himself into working for them tirelessly, so much so that his own welfare is always put second place. I want to say one final thing about Henry, and that is that he is never negative, uh, he's never cast down by anything, and we have a lot of grey days here in England, and whenever Henry comes in, the day is never grey, it is always sunny. He brings a touch of Africa, of sun, of love, of warmth, of laughter to our grey northern skies and it has been such a privilege always to have worked and known Henry. He is involved in fundraising activities in which he encourages other young people to assist their peers who are in greater need than themselves. He assisted the students of Field House at St Edward's, Oxford to raise funds to build and furnish a two classroom block and to drill a borehole at Sabvore Primary School, his alma mater. In 2008, Mr. Chitsenga raised money through the Africa Children's Fund, where he is one of the Board of Trustees, to build a kitchen at Mount Denjare Primary School. This school is located in Mutare, Zimbabwe, and more than 50% of its students are orphans. <coughs> managed to procure and ship 15 computers to the school. In 2009, Mr. Chitsenga founded the Henry Chitsenga Prize for Outstanding Performance in Mathematics for students at Chitikatira and Kute High Schools in Nyanga, Zimbabwe. The prize consists of book vouchers 
which are awarded in recognition of outstanding students in mathematics and those who have made considerable progress in their level. The award was created with the intention of promoting numeracy and a love for mathematics among the students and also to improve the pass rates at these schools. Mr Chitsenga recognises the importance of mathematics in preparing these students to become participants in an ever more competitive world that reaches beyond the boundaries of their own country. Mr Chitsenga is continually looking for opportunities to alleviate suffering and to advance the education of children who would otherwise have no opportunities availed to them. He finds innovative ways of marrying his passion for education and his vocation of service to the poor. His overarching mission is to leave the world a better place than he found it. He resides in the United Kingdom with his wife and three children. Right, my children, my family. There are two people in your whole life who will genuinely celebrate your success. Who are the two people? Your beautiful mom. Your beautiful dad. <laughs> your teachers. Your teachers. Those two people, your parents and your teachers, are the only two people who are going to genuinely celebrate your success. And the two people also want you to be better than themselves. teaches at an independent school in Oxford. He is also an avid runner, a record holder for Oxfordshire Country 200 metres masters. Uh, if I were to describe Mr. Henry Chitenga in one word, he's kind, he's also a humanitarian, he's concerned about the well-being and welfare of the underprivileged, like us, the such old beneficiaries. Uh, I can describe Mr. Chitsenga as a person who is humble, a man of God, a motivational speaker, an inspirational speaker. Mr. Chitsenga is a generous man, a motivational man, an inspirational man. He uh, have taught me how to work very hard at the school. Mr. Henry Chitsenga is a man of God. He is a philanthropist. Uh, he actually motivates people. Uh, like he motivates us to work hard, uh, to stay uh, inspired, uh, to stay uh, to stay academically uh, influential. Uh, Mr. English Semba is a man who is generous, who is who has got heartfelt love, uh, who has got uh, true benevolence and true philanthropism. Uh, he is also a man who shows. He is true love to everyone and he is a man who is very humble. Mr. Chisenga is a very passionate teacher. He, I can describe him in one sentence as a very humble person. And in one word, I just say humble. Um, Henry Chisenga is a passionate person. He loves people and he believes in living this world a better person. I believe we can see that through his work that he helps other people from where they are to take them to another level. Henry is a free giver. Uh, I think his belief is that if you give, you receive more, uh, not just to yourself, but to the community around you uh, and to make the world a better place through giving. I would like to describe Mr. Jitsenga as uh, the man who is so humble and who have got uh, the, lives, the vision towards the lives of the underprivileged. Uh, as a philanthropist, uh, he's a very compassionate guy. He reaches out uh, to the underprivileged. Uh, he's one person who has an open heart, uh, who is direct and uh, straightforward. In a world of considerable darkness, Henry is an angel of light who has brought love 
to some of the poorest parts of the world and has planted fruitful seeds in some of the driest soils. And the word I would use to describe Henry is angelic. There is one precious gift I am going to give you. A priceless gift which I am going to give you is to love your mom. <laughs> Oh, love your mom. That's that's a gift, mm -hmm. and it's also a gift mm -hmm. to have a family like you, a loving family, loving, 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 loving. loving.